Hello, my name is Corey Kimpton, and this is my presentation on gout, the disease of kings. Gout is something that is very personal to me. So, um, gout was first recognized in 2640 BC in ancient Egypt. I mean, the, the nickname, the disease of kings, was more so because only kings really could afford the type of diet that was really the cause of gout. Um, gout is more just a buildup of uric acid, uric acid in your body. Um, while your body does get rid of it naturally through your kidneys, usually going through the bathroom, sometimes you... Even if your kidneys are working just fine, sometimes you have so much uric acid in your body, it's not going to do anything. You're just going to have extra. So what it does is it basically just throws it around inside your body somewhere, anywhere. Most commonly, joints, especially lower joints, knees, feet, toes, those kind of things. Because it's we're pretty much gravity just kind of takes over. Um, I mean, there have been a lot of famous people with this. A lot of, as you can see, baseball players, there's football players with it. It's just, it's one of those things that everybody can get. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, it doesn't matter. You, you can get it. Um, I would have to say that gout is probably, actually no, not even probably. It, it is the most painful thing I've ever experienced was gout. And it was not fun. Um, I've had gout personally for 15 years. I am currently 25. No, no, I'm sorry. I've had gout for 10 years. I got it when I was 15. First gout flare up was on football practice in high school. Not a fun day. Um, the symptoms of gout are you the joints are extremely swollen um it somewhat turns red and that's just from the outside perspective outside that's pretty much all you see but if you're the person with the gout you feel stiffness um it feels extremely different from other joints and it's extremely extremely painful like we're talking grown men Football players, baseball players, sports, um, athletes, um, actors, basically just grown men will sit there and writhe and scream in pain because it hurts so much. Um, there's a couple things that can be done. There's obviously the better route, which is medication. Colchicine is used to bring down the flare-up after you have one. And there's alpurinol to help prevent it from like ever actually happening. Now, if you don't have medication, um, usually lots and lots and lots and lots of people do. What does it look like? This picture here is showing you my left thumb with a ring. This ring is a size nine. I can fit that ring all the way down here as shown in the picture. I, I can fit it on my thumb. That's my left hand. Now, if you look at my right, be able to see I'm not sure if you can be able to see here same same ring that's my right hand you can tell I cannot get that ring past that joint because it is affected by gout um, as of right now it is not in pain it is just I've done a pretty good job after so many years it's just it just permanently affects you one once your body swells up to a point there's just no going back down If you don't treat it, you're left with screwed up thumbs like I've got, um, immense pain, which thankfully I don't have that anymore, or the other option that I had to do because my foot was so screwed up, amputation. Uh, my right foot was so, so messed up that 
I had to get it updated. There was no question about it. It was, hey, doctor basically told me your, your toe's dead. There's no toe. It was just, it was kind of a shock to me when I, not, not really when I first heard it, it was more a couple weeks later when I let it sink in. It was, hey, I'm going to be losing a body part. Um, it is very, very touchy. Not, not the amputation. I'm talking about God here. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that anybody can get. It doesn't matter. Just steak, soda, alcohol, especially drinkers. Um, they, they can all get it. Um, everybody, I mean, I've met a lot of people that say, oh, well, my uncle or my husband or my friend or they'll always say, hey, well, somebody they know has it. I'm pretty sure you know at least one person with it. That's how common gout is. But at the same time, if you don't have it, you do not truly know what they're going through. Um, the closest I've ever been able to show people is when I was working. It was just so bad. Couldn't do anything. Um, I'm doing this to try and bring more awareness to gout, saying, hey, try, try and take care of yourself a little bit better. So, thank you and have a good day.